What is calculus? Let's suppose you are riding a car on a straight road and you covered a distance of 60 kilometers in one hour. Your average speed is 60 km per hour. This means that if you ride the car at a uniform speed of 60 km per hour, you will reach the destination in one hour. But that is not how things happen in the real world. In reality, you may have stopped in the traffic or rode at speeds higher or lower than 60 km per hour. What if we want to find the speed at a specific point of your journey? We all know how to find the area of regular shapes like rectangle, triangle, circle, etc. But what if we want to calculate the area of this irregular point? Answer to all these questions lies in calculus. The slope of the tangent of the distance time graph will give us the speed at a particular point. This process of finding the rate of change of a function is called differentiation. The area of the point can be split into rectangles and their areas can be added up to get the area of the point. When the area of the rectangles gets smaller and smaller, the area of the point becomes more accurate. This process is called integration. Both the process of integration and differentiation together forms calculus. Integration and differentiation is done in very small time intervals. So calculus can be defined as a branch of mathematics which deals with infinitely small quantities. Calculus was developed independently by two scientists, Isaac Newton and Gottfried Leibniz in 17th century. Newton's approach was geometrical, while Leibniz followed an analytical approach. The argument that who invented calculus was one of the major controversies of that century. Today, calculus is used in day-to-day -day affairs like predicting weather, finding variations in stock market, foreseeing the changes in economy, to scientific researchers like mapping the orbit of planets, finding the growth rate of viruses, etc. There is not a single field of science and technology untouched by this branch of mathematics.